Welcome back to Tight Lining Maryland. We're out on the stream today doing something that you can only do every 17 years. We're out here fishing the Brood X Cicada Hatch. And with that said, this is a type of cicada that is gonna haunt your day for probably the better part of a month and a half to two months. They've been out now for, I guess it's been about three weeks to a month. Um, the numbers are really starting to increase. I'll be quiet for a second, you can probably hear them. And with that said, um, they're everywhere and those fish are starting to key in on them. It takes them a little bit of time uh, to kind of even think that they're a, a, a piece of like forage that they can eat. But once they start to lock in on a man, it is something to be uh, something to be seen. In terms of the overall trip today, our hope is to run a um, dry dropper setup with a cicada, um, and we'll throw underneath of there just a guide's choice hair's ear. With all of that being said, we're hopeful to get some takes on top. If not, we'll settle for taking some uh, on the nymph down below. But let me show you a little bit about the setup, and then we'll get started here today. All right, so today what we're using is we're using our lamps and liquid four five weight reel. It's got a European nymphing setup on there uh, in terms of a leader that I hand tied. The materials are down in the description below in case you want to tie one yourself, but I'll also add a description uh, or a link for the video up top. Next, we're using our Cortland nymph series rod. It's a 10 foot, six inch four weight. And this setup I think is gonna be ideal for this small little stream today where we're trying to pick up some brown trout. There are gonna be some warm water species in here too, uh, but uh, it's a very under pressured fishery and uh, I think that we can have a little bit of luck here today. So thank you as always for tuning back in and let's get some cicada eaters on the board. Alrighty, so this dry dropper helped us land this uh, brown trout in this huge hole. Um, I can see some bass in it, some bluegill. This guy's eating healthy, just gorgeous spots, and we're gonna get him back. There he goes. All right, let's see if we can't pick up a couple more in this hole. I mean, I really think, I really think that this hole holds a, a true giant, to be honest with you. I've, I've only fished this once before, and the one time I fished it, I almost drowned in it. Um, and I said to myself, well, you got to get back here at some point because there's got to be some really nice fish in it. And there goes a bluegill. So a little multi-species action today, a little warm water, a little cold water uh, fishery. Got a good mix. But I want to get up to the top of the hole up there. Um, that's where we get a little bit probably colder water, a little bit faster water. That's where I think your trout are going to be lurking, but never know in the back. We got love that we'll never need to hide. Love will always rise above.
right, so we got our first cicada eater here. Um, pretty thick fish here. You can see that he's been eating good. I've seen him, I saw him when I was downstream. I saw a big splash of your eyes right here in this area. And uh, it definitely makes you wonder, could that be the same fish that came up? But uh, first uh, first imitation eater of the year and uh, we're pretty excited here. So the, uh, the Brood X here from uh, my buddy Bill on um, Instagram that paid off. So thank you, Bill, for tying up a good pattern and putting a fish in the net for me. Just be with me. Just be with me. Just be with me. Looks like we might have a smallmouth. Yep. This is gonna be probably our fifth species, maybe even six or seven a day. But that's pretty cool. Not a bad little guy. Definitely a chunker for his size, but we'll take that. Just cool to be catching fish left and right. So there you go, a little river smallmouth. All right, so we can see a long set of riffles right here. And this is probably one of the better types of water that you're hunting for late spring through summer into probably just before fall. Highly oxygenated water. Um, it's got a good flow to it. It brings bugs through there. It also helps to, to kind of produce uh, bugs. So with all of that being said, these riffles are exactly where you want to be whenever the water temps start to rise a little bit and uh, it, it starts to get a little bit warmer out. With that being said, we're gonna start with a dry dropper right in here, see if we can't pick up some. We'll jump up to the next riffle, and then I see that it gets a little flat. We'll see about casting in there. Uh, I have limited hopes, but uh, we're gonna fish these riffles out real quick and hopefully pick up a trout or two. There we go. This is gonna be our fourth brownie. I'll take it. He was sitting tight up in these riffles, dogging me to the other side. In the net. All right. Pretty little guy. Dry dropper effectively brings him in. Ooh, that is a nice fish. Oh, we got a double brown. No, we had a double brown. We had a double brown, and there's a nice fish with it. Real nice fish. Oh, we got a cicada eater. <sighs> Look at this belly. Holy crap, this guy is eating. Look at this guy's belly. Oh my God. He is thick. There's a bigger fish with him too. Alrighty, we're gonna get this guy back. Alrighty, we're gonna get this, what I think, wild bow. 
is, or what I think is a wild bow, we're going to get him back, so. There's a nice fish. Another little brown, it looks like. Oh, and he popped off. Son of a gun. I didn't play him right. So one thing that I would be remiss to, to not mention if uh, you know we kept fishing here is that the fish that I caught earlier, that rainbow, uh, we're in a stream that receives stocking, but I mean, we are nowhere, and I do mean nowhere near where the stocking occurs. So with that being said, I believe that I caught a wild rainbow out of a stream that honestly is not even really known for its wild population. So what occurred just moments ago is nothing short of incredible. Um, so really, really happy with the way this trip has gone. We've got some cicada eaters. We've got um, you know, brown trout subsurface. We got a wild rainbow in a stream that's not known for them. Uh, so really, really awesome day here. Woo! There's a big brown in there. There he is again. Oh! He broke me off clean. Oh! Oh! I just tied that knot on. This is a nice rainbow. And again, if it's a rainbow, I think it's wild. And that's what we don't want. Not on a fish like this. He took me right up on that rock. Come on. Stay down. Off of that rock. Nice. And there we go. Another really nice fish and what looks to be another really gorgeous wild rainbow. Just an absolute stunner. So we switched up not long ago. Let me show you what we're using. We've got on a little mini Euro jig streamer, and then we've got on a Frenchie, which is what that rainbow just took up top. So we've got a nice little riffle right here. It provides nice little cover from, you know, overhead uh, predation because they'll blend in much better. You know, great source of food, good depth. Just in general, this is a wonderful little spot, uh, and I'm very happy to have seen that a rainbow came out of it. So hopefully we can pick up a couple more in here. There's another one. And it looks like it's another rainbow too, which is just ridiculous. And this one looks like he took the jig streamer. Just gonna let him tire out a little bit. Nice fish here. Is rainbows, they like to go aerial, so we don't want that. All right, we're getting to the point where I feel pretty comfortable we can slide them back in. So we're gonna do just that. All right. Mm. 
and there we go all right we're gonna get this guy back this one i think might might be stocked but we're gonna get this one back he could be stocked but he's still got a lot of the same markings but uh another really nice fish so that's gonna wrap it up for tight lining maryland it was a successful first day fishing cicadas we had a lot of uh very visual and aggressive eats. Uh, we did land a few on a cicada and then we broke one off that was gonna be incredible on a cicada. But other than that, we still managed to pick some up, um, you know, kind of subsurface with nymphs, but overall really great day. Good mix of uh, fish. You know, we got what I think is wild bows, browns, smallmouth, uh, you know, fall fish, you name it. It was just a good day on the stream. So I really appreciate you tuning back in. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did and you stuck around this far, slam that thumbs up button and uh, let's help uh, keep building this channel. But thank you all and tight lines the next time you hit the stream.